What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, back again, playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server. Here, continue as a king. Look, I've got a sword and a shield. Huzzah! Uh, I thought that's pretty cool, <laughs> just having a sword and shield to go along with my kingdomhood. Now I gotta take it off, because I can't see, because I have a shield. And we got our sword there and everything. And we still have the sword in our hand. Uh, let's get rid of it. There we go, starting off the episode really well. Why, hello there. Um, I forget what I named you. No, you don't have a name. Um, I thought I named a person. So we're here in our castle in the kitchen looking out over our kingdom. And so as you can see, there have been some changes. So I redid the blacksmith because I realized I put the ceilings wrong. I had it going up this way instead of slanting that way. And that's not what I wanted. So I replaced it. I had to take out a couple of the smithies and forges just to make things fit better in here but we got it all going now and it's got a nice you know chimney sticking out the top there and so everything is all nice and organized and everything's all good to go over here in the blacksmith now which of course is what we built in the last episode and then we also built the barn which i think looks really cool over here so of course got this little up ramp side here that goes into the barn i do want to put some windows on here i just haven't done yet and i put some torches got the door uh, planted on backwards finally and then started to work on this side as well um, to continue on of course with like the kingdom build but we can go inside here and there's Buckbeak he's hiding inside here this is his gonna be his little house now I guess so yeah we got this area over here which I do have some foundations to place which I think I want to do of course I don't even know exactly what I'm going to build but I want to come out a couple more place that's the thing I'm running out of, like I said I know I mentioned like a church and stuff but I don't know what I want to do church like where I want to put it I feel it should make I need like more shops and stuff over on this side um, but not exactly sure oh I'm out of foundations now but yeah, that's going to be the next little area work on it. Of course, over here, like I said, I want to do like some shops and stuff. But I don't know exactly what kind of shops. Um, I'm trying to think of what kind of shops and stuff you have in a castle. I can't think of anything. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I've moved everything around. Got it all nice and organized. We will go with stone ramp. And we'll go ahead and add... Some nice ramps there, I think. Yeah, I think that would be a nice area for ramps. And then we'll add some over here to this area as well. Again, I don't know what I want to do today. Like, I'm confused with what I want to do and build. Do I want to put another ramp here? I guess I can go ahead and add it. Just dab down to this area. Hmm. I just, like I said, I can't think of what I want to do. It's kind of driving me insane. And unfortunately, we don't really have any good areas that can drop down pretty low. Uh, but let's, right over here, drop this, front, uh, whatever we call them, off these things, ramps. I'll spit them out eventually drop all this stuff off because I don't need that anymore and we'll sure we'll carry our sword and shield I did want to look at some oh but looking at the barn seeing how it looks like this and I really like the look with the inside out and everything I may switch up the horse barn over here I obviously I can't do these because those are foundations and you can't turn them inside out but I may do like the ups uh, stairs area there flip it around and everything just to make it look more contrast I'd like to do it to that too but I probably won't but let's jump oh yeah it's like where'd the griffin go Put it in the barn. Duh. So let's right, jump out. I want to go check on our farm stuff. I haven't checked on it since we've put stuff down. Of course, we got stuff growing and everything. Oh, oh! I just got 24 out of 24. Oh, we've got all the bee honey that we want. We need more rare flowers, though. Let's go ahead and clear this out so it can start making more. I need more flowers. Hello, Scarecrow. I still have yet to look up, but it's getting closer to Halloween, so that maybe they they'll bring the Halloween event back, and it will have the event stuff 
let's see how are all our plants doing say so once they get full so like to a hundred or whatever okay yeah so they're not full yet we got a while to go still let's put our honey back and I need to go figure out where to get some new more blue flowers let's land down here put them in our kitchen what's this one that's the meat jar Ooh, I'm gonna like fill this thing up cuz yeah that's pretty much everything hmm guess we'll start some extra honey in here and then we'll just from now on until we make stuff we'll just leave the honey um, in the barn area or in the garden I'll spit it out eventually um, but what do I want to do? Like, I really want to work on this side, but I don't know what to add. Like I said, I know, like, shops and stuff. We'll go ahead and... First off, I know we can go ahead and do this. Do some stone, uh, foundation. I can never see. There it is. Sure, we'll craft 100. The stone foundations. Um. Maybe work over there, and we can... I was saying build the uh, church, but then it's it's pretty much just going to be this exact same building. But I'll uh, paint it like this barn. I'll probably leave or paint it red, you know, just make it the classic brown or red barn car color and everything. But the church, I will paint white and we'll put a, just a steeple on top of it and stuff just to, you know, signify that it's a church and everything. And, you know, kind of want it far away into the corner there. Unless we did it on this corner because it's up real high and so you know churches sit up high and prominent and everything. So say how many foundations do we have. I'll just go and take this. Run down over here. Place all of these down. go I was just trying to think it would be kind of cool to maybe set it at an angle you know like to have it sitting straight out from here and then I'll of course have to put uh, foundations down which I don't know how that will work yeah I may not be able to do that I don't know. I'll get more foundations and place them down over here. I may actually take some of the back out and then I'll turn it into, you know, like a graveyard type design. Let's get two more on here. I wish I could like tame more animals, but they'll like the only thing, you know, I'm trying to keep it you know, like a castle related. So I'm trying to keep, you know, animals you'd find. So I have horses, you know, the sheep, uh, dodos, but I'm using them as chickens instead. And then the griffin because it's a castle and everything. So, you know, there's not much, there's not many more dinos. Like there's the pigs, um, the, what you would call it, pigs. I don't even know where you find those pigs. I've never tamed one before. Let's go ahead and just build it out. Go ahead and take this off. We'll just leave this open and this will be like our grave area maybe. Like I'll, um, yeah, because I want a space on each side. I just hate the hill stuff so much that I have. But that's, you know, how we, I built the, or chose this area. Because I wanted, you know, contrast and everything, not just all one flat area. How wide is this? Yeah, this will be as wide as we go. So then we'll just stick it out longer. I don't know how long. Because I want a nice big church and stuff. Because, you know, that's... Back in the old days, they 
we're all crazy about churches and everything. So they want big, giant churches, you know, almost as big as the uh, Great Hall itself. Let's see how many more foundations we got now. 23. Come on, we'll get 25. One more. There we go. So we'll just stick, bring it out a couple more. I do want it out one more at least. Whoops. Jumping too early. Here we go. It is that. Let's go and take these up. Um, we'll just have to have a little bit of this in our place, but I may cover that up with something. So let's get rid of that. So that gives us one, two, three, four. Yeah, definitely want it out one more at least. I think we'll do five, and then I do want a lower level down below. Uh, why wouldn't it place there? Let's come down here. There we go. Got it to place. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Actually, and we'll put this here. Oh, I need one more. One more foundation. But I think I may... Uh, continue building this just the um, uh, building it the way it is here maybe get some of the layout and design yeah add that there and then of course we'll put some like fencing along here and then um, put a little like gate here and a ramp down and this will be, and if I can get tombstones too, I'll put them, actually they do make tombstones just in general. I'll just decorate them along back in here. So that would be pretty cool too. But let's run up here. Let's grab those ramps real quick. We'll go and do the stone railing too. I don't know why I keep running out that way when I need to go this way. And then I will put the little ceiling thing, or the wall things in here, so they will look. Um, covered up and everything. Then we'll place one right there as well. And so this will be our church, which I think... We will go ahead and switch these all to stairs, though. Because got to make it look all nice and fancy, which I may switch pretty much every ramps like these in the place to stairs. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this set. Do I have more? Yes, I do. There, we'll stick those down in there. So that way we can put those little uh, ramp things on 
I think this will look pretty cool. Oops. Stick that there. Of course, that'll be a wall. Guess I can't really do much. This will um, probably right about here. will be where we end our building off of. Let me just shrink that back in. So this will be where we, you know, have buildings and shops and everything. I probably will extend this out one more as well. Depending on how I want to do, I'll put like some sort of shop in here, you know, just put different little shops and everything around in here and then lead it up to the church on that side. And then again, I have no clue what I'm going to put on that side, but I think that's going to be it. I may work on this a little bit more, like get some of the walls up and everything. Like I'll go ahead. How many walls do I have? I'll at least get them start to craft. We have 37 there. I'll just make like another 50 or something if I can. I guess 18 I'll have to do that but now I think I do want to with what little time we have I do want to go find those pig things um, I'll see I mean they're huge pigs but you know it kind of fits in with the um, ancientness and mythologicalness I guess of this whole thing no oh, wrong thing is it this one yeah we'll grab a, another couple sets of trank darts I'd have narcotic I've never tamed these pig things, so I don't know what you have to do. I'll probably have to look it up. But we'll take... I'm trying to figure out what I want to take. The Quetzal just fly so slow. I'll have to see where they even, like, spawn at. So I may take the Quetzal, because that way I can then, like, load them up on the back and everything. Um, but the Griffin would be much faster, so I don't know exactly what to do. I'll, like I said, look up everything and figure out what you have to do or what where they are and everything and I'll decide which one to take and stuff so I will do that so next time you see it I will be trying to knock out one of those pig things so I will see you then okay guys so I got a little thing built over here and there is one of these things because it kept attacking me while I was trying to build it it's around here somewhere one of the pig things the deodons I guess is what they're there it is right there there was a cool green one too but it was attacking something and when it got like ran off after it now I can't find it so I don't know if it's dead or what did it go in yes so um all the ones I found like the highest level one I can find is like a 55 or something so nothing too special so let's try and get this thing knocked out and hopefully no more come and attack me from it because there were a couple up the hill and like I said this one and the green one and like I said I wish I knew where that green one because it was pretty cool looking for the whole um, extinction event thing would have been cool okay that RG's body still is over there because I need that prime meat from it I'm gonna shoot you in the face you stupid pig but what I'll probably do is I want like two of these I mean I want more but um, I had to fly over here all the way to the mountain where like that bear cave is and stuff um, so by my old base and uh, I'm gonna at least get two because like I said there's the one other one wandering around up there then there's a couple more up the hill that I'm gonna like p just pick some from and I will tame once I get this one knocked out all then of course feed it and everything so there it goes okay so let's harvest this RG put the prime meat on this thing and hopefully it'll stay safe over here like I said I've been attacked by a bunch of stuff so I don't really know heck it Oh no, I say it could get tamed really fast because I read some about like if they do their healing, it'll make them super hungry. 
So, um, and it is like constantly eating. So this may tame really fast, but I'm going to, um, after this one, hopefully it'll stay safe. I didn't think about that where I should put it. Um, but I'm going to go grab another one and bring it over here and tame it up as well. So I will, um, wait for this to tame up. And then once the other one gets done, I will bring it back. Probably, I don't know what I'm gonna actually I may fly this because it's not that far pick it up and fly it to my base so I can put it on the quetzal and everything and then I'll bring it back once I get the second one tamed up as well oh my god these things are so ugly but I'll once I get the other one tamed up as well I'll bring it back um probably at the um I may fly them back to my castle and then build a little pin for them or I may put them in the sheep pin and build a new sheep pin like a smaller one to put them in or something not really sure to pick because these things are big and everything but i will get these tamed up this one and another one and i will see you when they're all done and we finally made it back that took forever and of course you know as usual stuff with me everything that can go wrong did go wrong so i was trying to tame up these things and of course my rifle broke so i had to fly all the way back to my other base and then fly all the way back to finish taming it up and it was just a pain as usual um so i got two of them i think the first one that you guys saw was a 55 which i assume is this darker one because it's a higher level and i haven't put any levels on the new one yet um let's just get its weight up a little and i guess do a little bit of me even though i don't it doesn't really matter but yeah let's get its up and we'll also do some melee damage and then yeah that one was uh, 50 i think it was um so let's see if i can get it over here i like how when they run they stick their tail up it looks funny so yeah they're just like the horses where it doesn't register Oh, come on. There we go. So we got that pig in here. Oops, and I fell into the other. So let's try this pig. It's getting stuck on the door again. Oh, come on. Why do they get stuck on the door like this? There we go. So I made it. We landed on the sheep, though. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's run now over here and see if we can craft anything. Or if we have anything. Let's check in here. Do we have... We have two. Fence foundations, of course we do. So let's go into wood, and yeah, I can't craft anything. I can craft one. Uh, what do we need? And oh yeah, I need f like fiber, I think it is. So let's just do twenty. I know I don't need that much, but let's run back over here. I'm trying to figure out where I could. Put this. I guess I could maybe do it right here. Oh yeah, and that's all I got. And then if we do this, we technically. Oh yeah, I forgot I switched out my things. I'll have to figure refigure out this whole design here okay do one more out that way pick this one up real quick And put these railings down. There we go. Actually, since we have more sheep, we may stick the pigs over in this one.
Just stick them over in here. Like that. Now, of course, I made all those extra things that I don't really need, but I'm going to re put stuff down. Um, oh, I think it's in here. Yeah, I do have. Let's just take one off. And then I don't think I have a double door. That's under stone. We'll take this one too, and it should be able to fit on. Over here. Because this one we will leave too high since there are bigger animals and hopefully that will allow for the door to open maybe. Oh no, they don't fit. Oh no. Okay, I'll probably sink it so that way I can jump over the railing at least if I want to get them out. But I'll do that some other time here. There we go. So I think that's probably going to be it. Oh yeah, I did want to show some. Not that I really did much of anything, but let's go ahead and pick this up. There we go. But over here, just on the church area, of course, I didn't get much work done on it. But I did put those uh, things down, so now you can see it's all covered up and everything. Then I did put the railings on to be able to, you know, have it lead to the front door here. Which I did realize I made this too big. Because hm. I guess I only wanted it a one, but I've made it a two. So I'm going to have to just fix this, just take this up and all this stuff. Oh, snap. And then I'll just, yeah, have to replace all of that um, down to one stair that, of course, it'll be the same type design on that side so that way it does match now and then we can go ahead and stick this here and this will be our entrance into the church so it'll be all nice and fun and everything but I think that's going to be it for the episode day again not doing a whole lot just trying to decide what to do and start the church build over there I got to decide what buildings I want to do um again for like our little village and everything and then what else to put all the way over there but we did get our two pig uh diodons i just call them boar pigs or what what i'm gonna call them but that's gonna be it for this episode today so i hope you enjoyed again not to, doing a whole lot but you know i do what i can and the pigs caused a lot of issues themselves but i thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up for me leave any comments you have down below and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos on the channel especially arc videos and we will see you next time